No, well, you know it's coming up in a couple of days, don't you, Hector? <laughs> Turkey Day. Turkey Day, that's right. So we thought we'd get a jump on things by talking about the top 10 techno turkeys of 2016. I, I, I always wondered, you know, if you live in like another country where they don't have turkeys. Yeah. You know, because turkeys aren't everywhere. Right. What do they eat? They eat like uh, pheasants or, you know, roasted rat? What? I know some places they eat dog, but I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like Korea, what do you need? It's 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 dog day. <laughs> right, I'm sure they do, you know. But yeah. we'll have to get into that on, on an episode, upcoming episode, you know, yeah. culinary oddities from around the world. Yeah, so, you know, before we get into all this stuff, we want to thank our sponsor for all year, uh, Vibrant Life Health Center. If you're thinking about Thanksgiving and you're thinking about putting the pounds on and you want to get them off afterwards, they're the company you go with. They're the premier Nutrimost Center in Jacksonville. And I can attest to it personally because I lost 34 pounds on their program, their mm -hmm. Nutrimost program. 34 pounds in 40 days. And I know a whole bunch of other people have done it. Uh, after I recommended that they do it, they jumped on the program, and it's done wonders for them also. Um, they're also a premier chiropractic center. Right. Uh, they have a program called Life in Balance, and the Life in Balance program can help you with all kinds of facets of your life. So it's a functional medicine program that mm -hmm. can really get you back on the trail to, you know, good health, because that's something that a lot of people don't have right now. Well, you know what most people do? They wait until after the New Year, and then they make the New Year's resolution, but by that time they've packed on so much, right. it's, a, it's an uphill battle. Yeah, it's, what's amazing to me is it's really easy for the body to put on four or five pounds. I mean, it could happen in a week. Well, you know why? Easily. That's how we're designed. Yeah, we were designed <laughs> to be able to feast or famine. You know, right. when you're going out looking for stuff and there's nothing to eat, your body sort of holds on to every little ounce, and then when you do got a bunch of eat, it puts on the weight right. so that you can survive till the next, yeah. the next hunt. Yeah, if and, you will. and that kind of works against us now because right. now we hunt in the supermarket. Right, because now we got you know <laughs> the animals. We don't even have to kill them because somebody else has already done it. So for speaking us. of going on a hunt, that's one of the first things we're going to talk about on the on the top ten techno turkeys was Pokemon Go. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about you know what's all the weird things because when we when I was looking at your your list. I did my own little search for the, for, you know, obviously for the Dropbox. Right. And I found a bunch of lists, you know, the top ten list of, you know, worst products. Right, and right. The top biggest job mistakes yeah. and all stuff. And I told you about that one NFL guy. He's on the NFL draft. Right. He's going to go in the first round. And somebody posts a picture of him, you know, honking on a bomb. <laughs> you know, like two minutes before he goes. Oh, on. man. So, obviously, he didn't even make the first round. You know, right. He got bomb. <laughs> so, anyway... You're talking about Pokemon Go. I remember when they hit the, the, the airwaves. Yeah, especially over the summer. I mean, they were it was summer, cuckoo. Oh, no, that was what I said. You know, po Pokemon Go goes gaga. Right. I mean, because really, it did. I mean, and, and, you know, you think, okay, you know, teenagers, we're going to do But some of these people were adults. No, no, no. no. There was a lot of adults yeah. doing really stupid stuff, like running in the buildings and stuff. <laughs> what, what was it? Some guy got hit by a car? Well, actually, I'll, I'll tell you the ones that I got. Because I picked up, you know, you could have spent the whole 30 minutes just talking about all the weird stuff that was going on with that. But, but there were a couple of them, like uh, several people were detained for trespassing, including three teens that were arrested at, at, the, uh, at a, a nuclear power plant. Right, trying to get into the power plant. Yeah, because uh, they're, they're in pursuit of Pokemon characters. And there was a bunch okay. of them in Jack and, and Orange Park yeah. that they were trespassing on graves and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? But, I mean, when you see guys with guns, it's not a good idea. I mean, I love right. the Pokemon characters going, right. folks, you know. And then I like the two of them. These were two grown men in California. Maybe they were honking on a bong. I don't know. Yeah. Who actually fell off a cliff, 90 feet, feet off a cliff, playing Pokemon Go. Right. So, and there were several people that were walking in the middle of the road yeah. with their phones looking for Pokemons on the highway and stuff. I'm like... You, you, you know what I call that? Voluntary population control. I was going to say, that's like, you know, <laughs> top ten best ways to die yeah. type of thing. Well, and speaking of thing. dying, okay, like I said, if it's not enough, bad enough to risk your own life and limb, one 39-year-old Japanese uh, player was convicted of killing a retiree by running the man over with his car while playing the game. Yeah. Again, the Pokemon, Pokemon was way out of control. So somebody invented this thing, and it was supposed to be, a, it was actually a big hit for Pokemon. But it also gave them a big black eye. Well, not to mention, I'm, I'm, I expect to see a lot of Pokemon go to court lawsuits yeah. coming on because of this. Because I'm sure a lot of people yeah. were, you know, injured and this one guy killed because of some fool playing a game and, out and, in the street. And there was a lot of businesses that, which it helped, because I saw this one pizza place, they did like $600 in an hour. Right. Because what they did was they had Pokemans inside the, the pizza <laughs> so place. Everybody came in. So you had to pay to get in <laughs> and you had to order a pizza. That's good. So, <laughs> so yeah. you know, people make money, but it also there was a lot of kooky stuff. You know, 
I, I literally saw people walking down the street with their phone in hand, and they were they were looking at the phone. They weren't looking yeah, at but, anything Yeah, but else. is that just somebody normally? Because, I mean, I see people all the time walking, doing this, right, and it's right. like, there's the curb, there's right. the car. Right. It's like, okay, one, check, one last person yeah. breathing my oxygen. Uh, yep. Yeah. You know, I've seen I've seen people in our office building walking down the stairs. Stairs, yeah. Regularly, we see that. Yeah, yeah. And and I asked them, I said, you know, what? you better look up. And I'm okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. I saw that coming. Yeah. What we got to do is we got to put one of those motion sensor cameras over there so we can put that on YouTube because that's got to be yeah, a, yeah, that's yeah. got to go viral. Yeah. Seeing people doing this and you know, down the yeah. stairs, you know. Um. So you know, your second item was really sort of funny. And yes, the smartphone turned hand grenade. Right, right. <laughs> and what's really wild is the Samsung Note 7. Yeah. It's not their flagship product. No. But it got all the press. Of course. So before they launched the Note, the, the 7, the regular 7, was considered the best smartphone to date. Better than anything, much better than the new Apple, and even before the new Apple right. was released. But when this other one started blowing up, Nobody even talked about the other one anymore. Right, well, really of course. Funny. You know, well, you know, it's like anything else. Disasters always get the news, you know what I mean? Right. And, and this was a disaster because, I mean, first of all, they sold like two and a half million of the things yeah. before they even said, okay, maybe we should think this over and stop production. Right. Okay, they just kept making them. And, I mean, it's not like it was one or two of these things that were going on. lots of them going Yeah. And, and, and people were, you know, having them go, you know, catch fire in their pocket, which is not a good thing. Right. Right, one, uh, two, at least twice, I heard about airlines where right. they, you know, the, the things right. were up in the overhead compartment, and all of a sudden, the smoke starts coming out. Right, and several people actually had them explode. I mean, like a grenade. Right, so it's one of those things that you know, Samsung really poked themselves in the eye. Yeah, and and they had other things that were going on. They were sort of flaky like that too. I mean, but not so much like the flames of this. Oh, I mean, yeah. they had other products. That they were charging outrageous amounts of money, and then all of a sudden, that the whole bottom dropped out. I'm talking about like the VR glasses and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, I understand too. I didn't put it in here, but there was another Samsung product that had some big problems as well. Oh, yeah, the, the uh, washing, washing machine. Washing machine, yeah. The washing machines <laughs> where the tops were flying <laughs> off. And those were like a thousand bucks a pop for those yeah. machines, you know? So. Yeah, yeah I, they know, had I, a bad year. I think they have a quality, quality control issue here, you They're know? They're not quite up there with like, you know, BP. Yeah. But, <laughs> But they got a serious uh, rep problem right now. Yeah. So. But I mean, you know, that, that's the whole point is, is, is reputation is everything in business, you know. And, and of course, the next couple of things we're going to talk about here is where, you know, things go wrong all the time. And it doesn't seem to hurt your reputation all that much. Right. We're talking about the space uh, well, I was going to say, the, the space <laughs> race, I mean, you know, they, they expect some failures, but mu they don't really talk about is how much it costs. Well, and we'll too. talk about that. Let's start off with one. This is the one that was actually interesting because this was uh, the uh, um, United Kingdom's uh, Mars lander. It actually landed, quote unquote. Well, yeah, it crashed, bottom right. line, yeah, exactly. And that's that's the whole thing is that it crashed and it landed and just failed to report back home. <laughs> right. But the point was, this was something that was supposed to land on Christmas Day, two thousand and three, right. and they just totally lost contact with it. Well, they found a big hole with a black line going to. <laughs> yeah. With with the new what is the observer? Yes, the the MRO, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, is and it? yeah, which, which you know can really see very fine detail right. on the because ground because they could actually see tracks from the little rovers that have been moving around right. and stuff like that. And they found this this looks like a little meteor track, right? You know, where, and there's a big like looks like a flame hole, right? You know. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, if something hits the ground, you know, going a right. thousand miles an hour, it does right. tend to make a little bit of, of a mess. So, but but the funny thing is, the Brits are like, nah, it landed, it just didn't report back. Right, right. And, and they're like, well, we see this big black smoking hole. <laughs> it did land. It made a uh, hole, yeah. <laughs> and it reported back via SOS smoke signal. But you know, <laughs> and those things happen because actually Mars has a horrible reputation. You know, we can't just you know right. poke fun at. at, at um, at the, at the at the Brits because oh, yeah, Russians lost a bunch of them. We've lost a right. bunch of them. Right. Russians you know. have lost several. As a matter of fact, a lot of the movies when they make the movies now about yeah. Mars and all that kind of stuff, they always talk about, "Hey, I found this Russian thing over here." Yeah, it was one of them where the guy actually took part of it apart and used it as a yeah, launch yeah, yeah, vehicle yeah, to yeah, get up in space, up, yeah. which was crazy it was because the one with Val Kilmer, right? Right. Yeah. Well, he didn't even have all the right stuff right. on because the reality is, if you go out in space with nothing, I mean, your your flesh will like fry. Well, I mean, you get up high enough, you just, you, you're, you're done. I mean, your right. blood will boil. Your blood will boil. That's yeah. right. Actually, if you just go in the Martian atmosphere without yeah. a suit, your blood will yeah. boil. Yeah. So, but anyway, it was a good it was a good thing. The, the guy's yeah. trying to make the thing 
talking, right. the things talking in Russian. Yeah, but I mean, the point is, like I said, that, that Mars just has a really hard reputation. You know why? See, the moon is actually easy to land on because there's no atmosphere, okay? Right. But Mars has an atmosphere. It's a thin atmosphere. And not only that, it sort of changes. But I mean, but it is an atmosphere. Right. And because of that, what happens is you get a lot of, of you know, heating coming down because even though you don't have a lot of oxygen molecules or any kind right. of, you know, a car, mostly carbon dioxide, right. any mostly type of carbon mar- dioxide, it's still creating heat on these things. That's why when they land, our landers there, they call it seven minutes of terror, just the landing before. And and that's why you know they're talking like like Elon Musk is talking about right. going to Mars and oh, stuff right, like right. that. I mean, we have trouble putting something the size of a you know a sports car on Mars. Right. Okay, could you could imagine a spaceship, what right. spaceship that's going to have a habitat for humans to live well, on? Well, I love the, the, the last three or four landers we put. They they've done it with the, the airbag yeah. type deal, you know, where they, they throw this airbag all around it, right? And the airbag bounces around. Yeah, but around. that ain't gonna work when you got people in it. Right. I was gonna say when you're trying to put a whole bunch of other stuff in the air, yeah. it's like you're gonna end up with scrambled eggs. Yeah. I mean. yeah unless you're shaking <laughs> martinis or something, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, but Spe- speaking of Elon, okay, yeah. he's had his own little problems lately. Uh, he's had several problems because the, the one time was it uh, one of the um, Facebook had a, a satellite that, that exploded on the, on the on no the, this was a different one this was one of the one on the pad but I mean I think before that they actually had another booster that went up and exploded well they had one that blew up in the up air the actual picture that's in right. there is that one but 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 the one but here's the, and you know and you expect that they have it's just like our space program you know every so many rockets go up boom right we even have a couple of shuttles do that right. right. But the point is, is that this one was a little different because this one crashed and burned without even taking off. In fact, it wasn't even in launch configuration. It was just sitting on the pad fueling. Right. When it went up in a spectacularly in a fireball, which of course now has made the rounds on, on the internet because they got the video footage of well, it. Well, here's the thing about these new spacecraft are built very differently than the ones from the 60s. Right. I mean, those were metal rockets. and These new ones are mainly carbon fiber rockets. Right. They have a carbon fiber right. outer shell, yeah. an aluminum, you know, yeah. uh, corrugated inner shell, right. and more carbon fiber, and they're actually stronger and a lot lighter. Yeah, yeah. But the problem was, but if there's any kind of little leaky well, thingy anywhere, but the thing was <laughs> when they actually they did, you know, of course, the investigations though, what went wrong? Yeah. And, and the weird thing was they found something that had never happened before. They said what happened was they believed the explosion was caused when the liquid oxygen used to fuel the booster froze solid right and they said when that happened it kind of triggered a domino effect because they had a carbon fiber container of liquid helium that exploded right and when that went up it set off the right. frozen yeah. liquid oxygen and you know you had you had the world's biggest uh you know sparkler you know right. it, was, it was basically a big roman candle on, on the launch pad right. well when when you know so uh, in other words all you had a rocket that burned to death after freezing to death. Right, they got the new, the new TV series that's on History Channel. Yeah. You know, Mars, where right. they're going to go to Mars, all that kind of stuff. And I'm watching these things, I'm like, yeah, we're a good 25 years away from getting these rockets right. Yeah. Well, and that's only one of the problems going to Mars. Yeah. There's a whole, you know. I mean, the logistics to go. Right. Because it's not like going to the moon, is right. close, close. Yeah, it's three days away. Yeah. But Mars is like nine months. six months. Nine minimum. months. Yeah, well, if you're really going fast. No. If they come but up with some but the stuff we got now is nine months. I mean, well, it's I nine months each way. Plus, you got to stay there for was, until you come back around. So I you're was listening like a two-year mission. Radio cast today where they're talking yeah. about we have these new propulsion systems that they just sort of came up with. Yeah, but they haven't tested them. Right, they haven't tested them, but they make you go much, much faster. So, again, if they can use the, the new propulsion systems and they yeah. can figure out a way like to build these right. ships up in space. Because it was one of those Mars shows that they had a mothership like right. that went out and then you landed in some other little thingy. Yeah, but yeah. The, the problem, like I said, with Mars, there's a bunch of problems. But the biggest problem That's is once you get there, how do you thingy, right, right. how do you land a big enough habitat full of you know a half a dozen astronauts right. when they have trouble landing something the size of this conference table? Right. I think they're, they're, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to master a way of landing modules, big ones, like yeah. buildings. Well, nobody's done that. Right. Who's done that? And they haven't done that anywhere. You know? They haven't done that on right. the moon either. So and actually, if they want to make Mars a reality, they should test all the stuff on the moon first. Because if something goes wrong, you got three days you're back. Right. You know, we can send a rescue mission to, and, the, and to the moon. Would, you it can't wouldn't hurt to have to some kind of base on the moon anyway, right. other than, you know, they don't want to talk to the aliens that are there or whatever. Uh, yeah, they probably won't want us to share the real estate. That's yeah, the problem. That's you know, you got to talk to the realtor with the antenna. Right. So, okay, let's, let's go on to the next item. Because this was, again, something about flight, but a little closer to home. Uh, here, this is... Again, in America, we're really used to everything sort of working. working. <laughs> yeah. Everything just sort of works. Yeah, until 
You have a computer crash, <laughs> right? Because everything is competitive on a computer. And, and actually, uh, a computer crash at Delta Airlines in their Atlanta I got it. Base, That's one of the main hubs. Right. Basically caused them to cancel hundreds of flights all around the world. Right. I mean, it's everything into to disarray. Right, because again, that flight connects to, you know, LaGuardia, right. and, uh, LAX, and, yeah. and boom. Worldwide. Yeah. I mean, it was world worldwide. Their whole, their whole system went down for, for, I mean, for hours. And by the time they put it back up, of course, their schedule was shot to hell, so then they had to reprogram it. It was a mess. Right. And, and what's worse is the, the people that, you know, are the watchdogs on these things, they say that uh, this basically hires, uh, highlights the vulnerability in Delta's computer system and raises a, a questions right. about whether a, a wave of four U.S. airline mergers that created four large carriers has the capacity to take on well, the, the traffic things, that it's, it's and One of the things to. that I got out of it Plus, was... Plus, of course, you got the FAA, which is right. screwed up, too. What I got out of it was... When these guys are merging, they're not upgrading their systems. They're just sort of slapping yeah, them all together. Yeah, they, they, it's patchwork quilt. Right. And so, and it's not just them because right. you still got American Airlines right. and all these other ones. And again, you if if a rich country like the United States is doing that, yeah. guess what? Singapore, oh, China, well, Japan. I mean, I, I, you think you think the airline systems are bad? Right. You see, FAA is still using some stuff from the seventies. Yeah. You know, their, their, their air traffic control system is deplorable. We've had several times when they've had to cancel flights because portions of the air traffic control system went down. Yeah, and again, I thought they had fixed a lot of this stuff nah. from, you know, the turn of the century. FAA they is a government-run company. Well, think about <laughs> it. They were they were supposed to upgrade the computers to make sure they didn't have uh -huh. the Y2K problem. Right. But I guess now they got some other kind of problem because well, like again, I said, even if they, even if they did update them for Y two K, that's seventeen years ago. But I mean, anything run, the run by the government is good. You know, I'm right. surprised we're not the the, the uh, post office still isn't delivering on horseback. Right. Okay, because I mean they're about the worst. You know, they'll spend, they'll throw billions of dollars at it, and they and they don't they only make the problem worse. Well, uh, Obamacare was a good example. They spent yeah. eight hundred million dollars on a website. The website that didn't work. And Actually, they spent six hundred some million dollars, and then it was hacked to death. And then they spent another two hundred million to, to try to, you know, stem the right. hacking. Right. But the government gets hacked. All the government computers get hacked yeah. regularly. As a matter of fact, you talked about that a little bit in, yeah. in here. Well, and it's not just hacking too, okay? Because today, you've got a lot of like hackathon. Again. Well, not just hackathons. I mean, you got people lying their 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 you know butts off online. Okay. And posing as legitimate news organs, and, and a lot of times these things are getting picked up by Facebook, by Google, by a lot of the, the you know the major players out right. there. So you, you to the point where it's like, can you even trust anything you read online? Well, our our blog, for example, we don't consider it news. No. Our blog, for the most part, is our opinion. Mm -hmm. It's an opinion thing. I mean, right? You know, that's why when I end my when I write mine, I said that's my opinion. Right. I look forward to reading yours. I yeah. mean, it's my opinion. Right. Yeah. You know? And. These other guys, they're not only picking up stuff and they're actually putting it out there and saying, this is trending. Right. Uh, Facebook did right. that a lot. I mean, especially during the election. So they started to call it fake book. Right. So, <laughs> so they, they were putting stuff out saying that, you know, hey, Donald Trump is XYZ yeah. and, right. and this this news service. Right. It ain't no news service. It's a blog and somebody's saying right. this stuff. Yeah, well, you know, it's gotten to the point where there are some people like Melissa Zindar where she actually came out with basically a compendium of all the fake news sites that are out. I mean, yeah. that's pretty bad when you have to have somebody with a whole book full of right. fake news sites. And, I, and, I want, and I'm sure that's a growth industry. Yeah, and I know we're sort of in the middle of these here. We're on number six. But I wanted to point out my three big bites for today's show yeah. is all about social media. Social media has been a game changer for society. Yeah. Because for the last 10 years... The news media has yeah. not been news media. They've been, you know, the propaganda arm of somebody. Yeah. yeah. Whether it's the right or the left or really, but they haven't been telling us the truth for a while. Yeah, but you now know. social media mm. gives people a chance to be able to see the news for work. So, for example, when all the stuff that was happening, saying, you know, you got this junk and that junk, the candidates were getting on Twitter. <laughs> Right. And saying, I mean, they were talking directly to right. the people because, again, on Twitter, they don't filter it. Right. It's whatever the heck they say, that's mm -hmm. what goes out. Facebook's a different animal altogether. Google's a different animal right. altogether because they were skewing stuff left sure. and right. But what's amazing to me, Twitter, the one that nobody wants to own right. because we thought somebody was going to buy it. Nobody wants to seem to open it. It's the one that really had been saving the day yeah. in a lot of different ways. And who's won? The candidates have won. Uh the people have won because, again, 
even after the election, when the when the when the news services like the New York Times right. apologize and all that, they said, you know, we're going to get better. They're doing the same thing. Right. They're they're, they're doing it worse. Right. Than before. We've only got five minutes, and so we've got four more items to hit. Yeah, so, so let's, let's move on. Because the next one's I got, even. I got nine minutes. Okay. Well, the next one's even more. Well, we got to do worldwide work. Yeah. The 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 next one is even more egregious because. You know, we've heard about hackers, right? You know, there's all kinds of people, companies getting hacked, and we know that they've been hitting the banks. We got hacker withdrawal. Right, but but here's one where Chinese hackers broke into the Federal Reserve Bank of New York on their way to stealing more than a hundred million dollars from the Bank of Singapore. Yeah. I mean Bangladesh. Yeah. And they did it because basically they sent, you know, the transfer orders to the bank and the the, the Fed right. in New York. And the Fed processed five of them before they realized that, you know, they're being uh, let on. Right. It was a good thing. I mean, the bad news is they, they basically let $100 million go south, $81 million, which they have not recovered. Right. But it could have been worse because the Packers were looking to get almost a billion dollars. And, again, this is this seems like a big deal, but this is not the first time it's happened. But it might have the Fed. Right. But here's what's wild. The banks do get hacked regularly. Mm-hmm. And you don't hear about it, right? Because banks ain't gonna put that on the front page news oh, yeah. unless it leaks somewhere. And again, they these big big banks usually have enough money where they can absorb these hundred million dollar hits, which is amazing to me that they can hit absorb a hundred million dollar hit. Well, I don't know any bank that can absorb a hundred million. Usually, it's well, a, you know, this one just had an eighty million, one million dollar. Uh, but that doesn't mean they absorbed it. They probably had a revolution and, and they hung hung all the bankers. I mean, you know, hundred million is a hard one that's to swallow. A, a you know, number. a lot of times you're taking you know hundred thousand million dollars, but a hundred million that's a big number for anybody. Anybody. Well, just think and, of it, and, we had eight hundred million but, on a website. But here's the thing, though. Okay, in my opinion, the Fed should have to pay the Bangladesh bankers back because Reuters actually published an article and they said it was amazing at how sloppy the Fed was in handling these orders. They said not only were the transfer orders incorrectly formatted, I mean, immediately, right. if you try to put a right. bank check through there and it's got Daffy Duck on it, are they going to give you your money? You know what I mean? They said they were also made, the, the transfers were made to individual accounts. Which Banks know, like, yeah, I'm right. going to transfer $100 million to my best friend. Yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> come on. New well, York, you know? Again, Jeez. They, the government has to make a priority for dealing with hacking because they're not paying attention. No, I'm, I'm starting to think I'll put my money back in my mattress. Right. So your, your next one is about hackers. Yeah. Again, in, yeah. in America, if it's working, nobody pays attention right. to it. But as soon as your Netflix doesn't work. Yeah, well, it wasn't just Netflix. It was Netflix, Twitter. Twitter. Was all, see, yeah, I mean, there's a whole bunch right. of things that just stopped working. And people are like, hey, I can't watch my videos. New York Times was hacked. I mean, it wasn't the companies that were hacked. What they did was they hacked the, what was called what was it called the Dyn DNS company, which right. basically controlled a lot of the routing of the packets right. like from that part of the country. And it usually takes a good hour or two before rerouting takes place. Yeah. So once that happens, you can't even get in. I mean, if they stop that route right. until the routers realize that hey, traffic has gone away. That's right. And these things are not real smart yet. You, you know, know and like I said, they, they've been testing the, the, the infrastructure of the Internet for quite a, a quite a while, but that was the first time they really made a big impression because, again, they took down some big players, you right. know. And, again, these hackathons are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. They're not going to get any worse. Yeah. And until some really smart people get in there and figure out some necessary ways to stop some of this stuff. Yeah, or it'll take a digital Pearl Harbor. Everything goes right. down. Everything has to go down for a week, and then everybody will be up in arms because they can't get their email. Can't get anything. I mean, <laughs> everything is computerized today. Right. Heck. Right. I mean, if they really hit us hard, everything goes down. Well, think about it. I mean, back, we'll be we're, out there. We're, with, in the, we're in the Internet marketing business. If uh, that would have happened, we were like, oh, look. Our, 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 you know, they just put in all the new digital uh, power. Um, power grid. Right. And, and, and like in my house, you know, they, they have the meter. Right. So if it goes down... I have no electricity. Yeah. Zero. Well, you know, Google has that company that makes the different kind of light bulbs that change color, and it's called Net, Next, Nest. 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 Yeah. So you get the, the yeah. well, they had a, an attack, not, yeah. it was one of the products that was a big right. deal in 2016, that hackers could hack the thermostat yeah. and shut it off. Yeah. And you couldn't turn on your, right. your electricity for your air conditioning so in any way, shape, or form. Well, and, you know, and and it happened in February. Well, and, you know, and everybody's saying, well, these are isolated incidents, but, you know, the, the hackers are getting more and more powerful. I, in fact, this was a, 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 my, my ninth one was a, a story out of Kiev in the Ukraine where hackers took out the power grid. I mean, they literally took down 25% of the grid. And then once that goes down, everything else falls. Yeah. It's and I effect. remember in 2015... 
there were some major hacks that really raised the ire of, of the military because they were doing some different tests and studies. Yeah. And there were attackers attacking the military grids and all that kind of stuff. And they were actually, the hackers were winning. Right. So that, well, And, you know, if they can take down the, the grid in, in the Ukraine, what makes you think they can't take right. it down here? They were they were attacking the ones in Italy and Germany and in yeah. England, you know the, the the EU, you know. So it's just a matter of time. Yeah, it's a matter know. of time. And, and as a matter of fact, I know for a fact every year the power grid gets hacked here. Right. Uh, they they know that they're at least probing it. Right. They're at least probing it. So I, again, until they start making products that are at least have some kind of protection, protection because right. most of these smart products have no yeah, protection. All the IoT stuff, you know, is, is all vulnerable as hell. Mm -hmm. And the last one I thought I, I kind of threw in there for you because, you know, I know that uh, we've talked about Donald Trump being elected. But the funny thing was is before he was elected, 145 leaders of tech companies, right. including Wozniak, by the yeah. way, right. penned a, a letter that basically said that if President Trump gets elected, that's the innovation in this country. Right, right. There, there's not going to be any more innovation. It's all down the, the tubes. And then he gets elected. Now what do they do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got egg on my face. Oh, we're sorry, Mr. Trump. Well, as I said, we're going to see how they change their tune now that he's in power. Hey. Right. Because, you know, they could be hell to pay. <laughs> you know. And we'll, we'll see what happens with all that. And again, the way I look at it, if, if Trump delivers yeah. half of what he says, he'll have done more than the last president. Who yeah, time will tell. But, I mean, you know, I've never seen it where, you know, they're having protests after the president's right. been elected, you know. But really? And, and like, that's really unusual because, life, again, I really think that that's an organized type of thing. That's yeah. not sort of happening. And as part of the World Wide Web, which we're going to get into right now. Yeah, it's not carrying, you know. This is a little continuation rocket. because, again, you know, we've talked about the message from the tech leaders. Okay, well, there was there was the, one of the, the earlier investors in Uber. Right. Uh, and, and the co-founder of Hyperloop posted a series of tweets last week announcing his plans to fund a legitimate campaign for California to become its own nation right, 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 because Trump that. was elected. Right. <laughs> well, Texas sort of did the same thing when Obama yeah, but, got but, but, but I think somebody should point out to him, okay, if the federal government pulled away all its federal subsidies, but I was going to say everything uh, would stop in California overnight. California is already almost bankrupt. So I'm saying, yeah, so I'm we saying. pulled away the subsidies. The federal said, "Okay, fine, you're on your own. Yeah, yeah. Fine, have fun." Yeah, all the Mexicans would go back to Mexico because they ain't got no money. <laughs> if, when Texas, at least when Texas did the Texix, yeah, you know, instead of like Brexit, you know, the yeah. Texix, they didn't actually do, it, but they had they had their fake yeah. vote and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Hell, when I was I grew up in Key West, Key West succeeded from the Union. I don't know how many times. We yeah. Were, yeah, like we're gonna go somewhere. Yeah, right? like anybody <laughs> noticed, we <he> did. <laughs> right. You know, the the other one, not like two. Remember, we were talking about Facebook's problems. Well, here was another one. I don't know if you heard about this, but they have this humongous drone. It's called Aquila. I mean, this thing has a wingspan longer than a seven forty seven. Okay, and they've been testing this thing. Well, they had an oops, and it crashed on landing. I mean, like the wing kind of like. Now, you know, up. when when a company starts making stuff like this, when they got when they're in a totally different business. Right. That they got more money than they know right. what to do with. Well, Google's doing that stuff. Right, they yeah. did the Google blimps and right. everything else, right? But they're, they're actually using a humongous drone with a wingspan longer than a 747. It's supposed to be able to stay up and, and flight for 90 days at a time. But just in testing, they had they had the, they had a crash. And what kind of fuel does it use? Is it solar or something or what? Well, it must it must use solar because there's no way you could have anything fly for 90 days right. unless you're going to have fuel. a fuel tanker up there, you right. know, hitting it every now and then. So it has to be solar. And, and I guess that's why the wing buckled, because it's very lightweight. Yeah. So let's go back to the drawing board on that. And then, and then for the last one, this was one that should be more 60. important to most people. Okay, it says, software discovered in some U.S. phones secretly sends data to China. So it says, if you bought an Android phone, you've got to check, because if it has software, uh, literally, you could have... All of your texts go into China, all your phone numbers go into China, your list go into China. So, so does it have a list of phones? Well, it doesn't have a list of phones, but it just says that the software was written by China's Shanghai Adopts Technology Company. So the software monitors your users go, whom they talk to, and what they write in text messages, as well as transmitting the full contents of contact lists and other data. Wow. So we've always said that, you know, now you're going to get malware built right in, and here are Android phones that are having that problem. And just so you Apple guys out there think they're snickering or something yeah. like that. Your phones are built in China. So, okay? <laughs> yeah. Your phones are built in China. So if you think it's, you know, you're totally not getting nothing wrong, hell, your computers are built in China. All Apple stuff is built in China. 
So we only got about five seconds left yeah, to go, Hector. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, remind the listeners to go to the to the notes page because there's lots of links there That's for right. a lot of different articles of different kinds of lists for yep. the Turkey Day. Yeah. Uh, Club WQ members, make sure you go to the Dropbox. All the goodies are in there too. Uh-huh. Uh, next week's show, uh, we're going to do uh, the magic of the calendar, and also after that, we're, the evolution of uh, the media. All right. So, so till next time. Keep working the web wing, gang. Don't be a techno turkey.